Yeah, I don't really have a camera for mine. No, nah, that's cool. That's fine. Anyway, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's James here, and I got Wistful, I got Mech, and I got Wolfric. Red is unfortunately in the hospital, and he will not be able to make it. Um, keep Red in your thoughts. I'm sure he will do a lot better in the future coming days here. But at least we got Wolfric, uh, Mech, and Wistful here. Uh, how are you all doing today? I'm doing good. I'm doing all right. I'm doing fine. And pretty much to say about uh, Red real quick, um, he's pretty much in the hospital recovering. Yeah, he uh, he had something wrong with his jaw, and it ended up being really, really serious. But just keep him in your thoughts, and I'm sure he'll be okay. He said he's getting out tomorrow, though, so uh, I'm sure he'll be That's fine. Weird. Yeah. yeah. So uh, the y'all are going to be reacting to my song today. I'm going to want your guys' thoughts. Uh, it's kind of like a more pop slash emo slash hip hop kind of thing. It's not really hyper pop like I've been doing, so it's a little different, but it's probably my best work that I've done. All right. Just let me know. Let me know when y'all are ready to hear this. I'm ready. I'm ready. Whistle? I'm ready. I don't Here see any. I don't see anything yet. I did. I didn't click it yet. Don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna start in three, two, one. Try to tell me that they're there, but I'm falling apart Dealing with all the shit ever since the start I'm with you forever until death do us part You own everything of me, including my heart I'm falling too far in the deep end Anxiety keeps on fighting while depression is creeping I don't know the reason of living, what is the meaning? Living inside of this world, it keeps me seething Why the fuck am I breathing? I don't even know if we can even make it out I think that we should be leaving Leave all the traumas behind and then we make it out I'm falling into pieces Maybe it's a thesis, an idea that I generate I can't say I've always struggled with some problems Always had a lot on my plate not much else I can say except medication. You good, Whistle? You good, bro? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just shutting the door real fast. Alrighty. Just making sure I'm gonna go back a little bit for you. Alright. Yeah, I'm good. I've always struggled with some problems. Always had a lot on my plate. Not much else I can say except medications. Trying to stimulate my brain. When I was a young kid, I was such a dumb kid. Always got in trouble a lot. I was rambunctious. Then I got abused. Didn't make the news. So I tried to hang myself from a news. I was like, what else do I really gotta lose? I was like, not much, honestly. That's the truth. All the fucking trauma filled in my shoes. Then one day I finally met you. You turned my life around from the start Ever since I met you, you've owned my heart Thank God I met you, I can play my part To keep you safe right from the start I ain't never letting go, I mean that shit That's because you are my home, I mean the shit I'ma hold you hella close to my heart and I Won't ever let go until I die I'll tell you my dear, I wouldn't lie if it weren't for you, my dear, I'd fucking cry I couldn't imagine it if you weren't by my side I think that I'd rather die I couldn't imagine life without you All of the shit that I've been through I don't know what I'd do without you All right, don't do that. Anyway, uh, before <laughs> I get your guys' thoughts on that, I just want to say if anybody is going through like uh, suicidal thoughts, they are thinking about attempting suicide, don't do it. It's not good. 
and I promise you, you will regret it. So don't go through with that at all. But anyway, uh, Wistful, uh, what did you think? That's probably the best. I think that's better than any of your Hyperhawk songs, like, honestly. Not that those were bad or anything, but that I think was pretty damn good. I think this is your best work yet, I gotta say. Yeah, I basically was recommended to try something a little different, so I did. Uh, Mac, how did you feel it's, about it's that? It's definitely a fresh show. Um, it was it was actually pretty good. Um, it it definitely does get the message through, especially if you've been through it. Yes, I think it, it I think it makes the song feel more harder and more emotional because um, when you're more emotionally attached to a song, especially mm -hmm. if what you've been through is true, it's more meaningful than like to those who make songs for you know for the hell of it, even though they've never been through it. Yeah, but, like this is more. This is more like personal, more meaningful to those people who have gone through it, and they need something to listen to to know that there's somebody out there that knows your pain, that knows how you feel, and this song will kind of help them to like soothe their mind about what they've been through. Um, you know, from what I'm seeing of this of this song especially if it's personal it's a personal song it is a very personal song uh pretty yeah, much pretty uh, i was i'm gonna say this now as a little bit of context for those who just listen to the song without any idea what actually happened hi there future james here basically i was going to talk about something very personal that i've experienced but because of youtube's guidelines and this and that i'm not taking any risks with this one so if you want a story time just comment down below uh, Wolfric, how did you feel about that? I never really got connected with the video, with the music because uh, I have been going through a lot of myself my entire life and all that. I mm -hmm. have bad thoughts. You sound a little glitchy. You sound a little glitchy there. Is that my internet or is that? No, that's probably his. He's been having issues. No, I get that. That's fine. It happens. Yeah. Uh, mine's um, kind of crappy, too. Mine's pretty okay right now, but that's about it. It's just okay. Uh, Wistful, do you have any other thoughts? Because normally, uh, I've seen your reaction to the EP that I made a little while ago, and normally you're very, like, in-depth on how you feel about it. Is there anything else you want to say about it? Because I feel like I cut you off and went the neck. Nah, you're good. Um... I definitely really liked it. it. It was definitely really good. Um, and I've been struggling with mental illness myself. I just mm -hmm. don't talk about it or really vent on it. Because I'm not the type of... I mean, you're the same way too, James. And I'm sure uh, Mecca and Wolfwick are the same too. But I'm not the type where I don't... If I'm struggling with something, I won't ask for help or say anything. You know what I mean? I just, I just stuff it in. Yeah, and I do recommend and, if anyone's like that and you feel like it's getting too much, ask for help. Honestly, mm -hmm. as much as you don't want to, just do it. You're always going to have a friend that's there. You're always going to have a family member that's there. So just well, that's, be there for them. Well that's, well, that's one thing that I did find very sweet. It definitely made me smile quite a bit. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I'm glad to hear y'all enjoyed it. Uh, do, do you, Would you like to rate it, Wistful? Like 1 through 10? <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, uh, I would say a 9. A 9. That's pretty good. How about you, A 9.5. A 9.5. Nine, a 9. <laughs> wow. All right, how about you, Mac? How what would you um, rate this? I would probably give it a 10 out of 10. It's much appreciated. Uh, how about you, Wolfert? <laughs> 10. <coughs> wow, much appreciated. You know I good, I worked on this song. <laughs> I worked on this song almost all morning. I had a little sibling right here just watching over me. Uh, even helped me write some of the lyrics or figure out some of the lyrics. Hi, future James here again. Caster, I didn't know he was going to be a part of this, but he apparently was. He was just busy playing a video game and didn't see my text when I texted him that if he wanted to join the reaction. So I was able to get Caster's reaction. Here you go.
All right. Caster, how did you feel about that? Depressed. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. Um, seriously, though, um, that was a banger. That was a banger? Yeah, I've... Wistful said it's by far my best song that I've made so far. Well, probably, really because is. Your vo- probably because your your voice fits really well with what you're making. Like, it fits really well with uh, the hip-hop slash pop, like, emo genre. It kind of fits in with pretty well um, with that. Something, something like that. It, it, there's, no, there's no, like, point where it would be, you know, out of place. So it 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 does it definitely fits in there, to be honest. So uh, that's that's my 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 two cents there. I appreciate that. And I no. uh, and I, I I like it to be honest, despite me not being into hip hop and all that stuff. Well, Even yeah. Well, Wistful's not really in the hip hop either. Honestly, I think uh, Wistful he's okay with my other songs, but he before I even showed him those i don't think he was ever in the hyper pop i just think um if you can do something well and you can get people to like it then go with that but my question to you caster is how did you feel about the meaning of the song um definitely relatable relatable yeah so caster i explained it to wistful you know what actually wistful uh since you're here buddy old pal i'm gonna have you explain why that's based on true events. Can you explain? Future James here for the final time. Still can't talk about that. Sorry. Thank you, Caster, for reacting to the song. I have one final thing to ask you. Yeah, sure. What would what you rate it? that? What would you rate that song? One out of ten. One being the worst, ten being the best. I would say it would. Would be. Uh... It would put me at around mm, uh, how can I put this? If you want to be brutally honest about it, I'm okay with that. That's what we're here for. So, all right, then, then I would give this a solid <coughs> um, one of your favorite shows. Uh, uh, rewatch cap three times out of ten. No, three out no, of ten. Uh, um, no, not three out of ten. Not just any three out of ten. It's watching your favorite shows free runs. You know, out of ten. Like you watch your favorite throw sheet like three times instead of ten times, or. Eh, like I, I'm having a little bit of difficulty understanding what you mean there. Hmm. Because when mm, maybe I'm putting this a little bit too complicated. Perhaps uh, you should just come out with a number. Just say it how it is. All right, seems fair enough. Uh, okay, I'll maybe like six out of ten. That's not solid. Perfect. I'm okay with the six out of ten. For yeah, someone not... who's not into the genre, just hearing that it's anything over a five is good enough for me. So I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you did. Stop it. Anyway, make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed. That's all I gotta say. So, peace. See ya. Fuck this in life, I'm just too like Two eyes in the back of my head. I'm watching everything you're doing instead of being here with me. Being here with me. I gotta say shit twice, so you know I ain't scared of it. I can give a fuck about it.